Hello YouTube and hello to you. Thank you for stopping by and welcome to my channel. Today we are making a goat cheese and tomato soup with a nice bruschetta on the side. This is my first English video recipe so bear with me and hopefully you are at least a little entertained. Okay, welcome to the video. To begin we need to prep the vegetables. First we are peeling the onions and then cut them into chunks. You can use basic yellow onions too, but I have these nice banana shallots at home so I use them. Next is carrots that I have already peeled, so just cut them to slices. You don't have to be precise because we are going to blend this. Then we move to tomatoes. Cut them in half and remove the stem. That's the only part we are not using from the tomatoes. I am using basic Finnish tomatoes, but you can use any type you like. If you can get your hands to San Marzano tomatoes, they would be the best. I also have 200 grams of small plum tomatoes. They bring a nice sweetness to the soup. And from these you don't need to remove the stem. Just cutting them in half will do perfectly. Then we move to stove top. Set the pan on high. Then add some extra virgin olive oil and be generous. This will give a good taste to our soup. Of course I forgot the garlic. But nothing to worry about, we can add it now. I'm just halving it and then pick the cloves to the pot. No need to peel whatsoever. Right. Grab a wooden spoon or spatula and stir the vegetables well. You can crush them a little if you have like lumps of onion or garlic. Now we add some dried thyme. You can use fresh also if you like. Next we add our tomatoes. As you can see, I have serious problems with my pots. Somehow the base is not even and it is very annoying. Maybe it is just excited to be part of this video. But anyway. Then we add few teaspoons of sugar and some salt to taste. This will help the tomatoes to release juices faster. But before they do, we need to add some acidity. I have tried white wine, but you can use lemon juice you don't like to use alcohol. Now we just let this simmer for a while or until the alcohol is evaporated. Before we continue, I like to crush the tomatoes a bit. And 
and then we can add some dried oregano that I forgot to add earlier. Now put a lid on the pot and simmer with very low heat for an hour. Meanwhile we can do our herb and parmesan bruschettas or grilled cheese sandwich or whatever you like to call it. But anyway, we need a baking tray and on top of it some baking paper. The best bread for this would be a sourdough bread with a big air bubbles. But I had this stale and almost dated slice of oat bread and I used it so that I don't have to throw it away. Next we drizzle some herb oil that I made the other day. And gently spread the oil all around the slices with the back of a spoon. Of course, we need some cheese too. I am using a leftover Parmigiano Reggiano, and I just save thin slices with a cheese slicer. If you don't have one, you can use the peeler or your knife. Then you just top the bread slices with the cheese. I am also sprinkling some salt flakes on top, but be careful not to overdo the salt, because the cheese is already quite salty. And then finished with a pinch of cayenne pepper and freshly cracked black pepper. Set the bruschetta set aside to wait. Next up is the goat cheese. You can use fresh goat cheese, but I prefer this aged one. I will show you why later in this video. Cut the dry head off and cut two slices about 1 cm thick and set aside for later use. Then cut 100-250 gram piece from the cheese lock. Peel off the outer layer and cut to pieces. Take the two slices and refrigerate until used. Back to the soup. It has been simmering for an hour and now we will use a stick blender to make it smooth. Be careful when you blend, the soup is very hot.
When the soup is smooth, bring the other pot and mash sieve to the table. And sieve the soup with the help of a ladle. You should be left with dried tomato skins and other unpleasantries that would otherwise ruin the velvety mouthfeel of tomato soup. Now we can put the bruschettas to the oven. Around 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for about 7 minutes or until browned nicely. Meanwhile we can finish our soup. Take one can of smooth mufti passata and add to the pot. Followed by the goat cheese and then stir until the cheese is melted. Time for tasting. I was prepared to pour in the whole 2 deciliters can of heavy cream, but after tasting, I think it needs only half of it. Little more salt and a pinch of cayenne for a little heat. Oh yes, this is so good! Now in the middle of the tasting list, don't forget the bread. I almost did, but no harm done. Next we fry our sliced goat cheeses, pan on high heat. This is why the aged version. The press one cannot be fried and we are looking for the perfect crust. When the oil pan is piping hot, add the slices and press gently to the entire surface of the cheese on the pan. Fry for 20 to 30 seconds and do not touch them. Let the crust build. Flip carefully with spatula and give the other side a few seconds, not no more, so the cheese won't melt entirely before transferring them into the plate.
one final blend for the soup before plating. This time blend the surface of the soup to create nice bubbles and airiness in the soup. Take a nice plate and a soup bowl and don't forget the napkin. It prevents the bowl from sliding around the plate when you move it. Use a kitchen towel or an extra plate to transfer the soup to the bowl without any spills. Plate the bruschetta on the plate. Place a nicely fried goat cheese disc on the other side of the bowl for texture and on the other side. Garnish for contrast with balsamic glaze. I did 5 drops and ran a wooden skewer to the droplets to create a nice figure to the surface of the soup. Balsamic glaze also combines the flavors perfectly together. Finish the beautiful dish with a little herb oil for more color and shine. And that's it! Your goat cheese and tomato soup with herb and cheese bruschetta is ready. Enjoy! So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please leave a like if you want to see more content like this. And please hit that button and subscribe. My name is Old Jeff Jones and I thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.